And guys, what's happening? Oh, I got the last, last shipments in. Um, so, as soon as this Arctic cold gets over, I'm going to get back to work on the car. It's only like 9 degrees outside. Should be the radiator cap thermostat water pump radi radiator, which you guys somewhat see in the bottom corner, and timing cover gasket. And I got an AMC. Cool. Another one to add to the collection. So this is AC Delco uh, thermostat. Got a little bleeder bobber. It does work. This is a 192. That's OEM 192's OEM. Not 195. 192. And this is AC Delco. This is part number for the thermostat, part number for the radiator cap. That one actually moves. Here is the Aerotech water pump. I didn't even know they were building water pumps. And this is for anybody that buys these, don't use these gaskets. These are just garbage gaskets. I'll show you a good gasket later. And here's the water pump. And I'll show you why we're replacing the water pump. But you see that hole there? And that hole? Well, when I show you on the other pump, you'll probably shake your head and wonder why. But yeah, this looks pretty good. Decent, been decked ish looks decent moves good And this is a gasket set I went through, TCS 46077, complete timing cover gasket set. All my cars I run Felpro. I will not run anything except Felpro. All the gasket sets, I should say, are Felpro. Um, they're Felpro. Um, oh God, what is it called? They're um, huh, can't think of the name of them. But they uh, redesigned the gasket from the screw up. Well, what comes in here is a turbo mount, turbo mounting gasket, oil pump flange, oil pump adapter, oil filter adapter, timing cover, crankshaft seal, water pump, heater, inlet, and O-ring. Um, here's your seal for your crankshaft. Um, here's all your O-rings. I won't be using these O-rings. 
because I'm going to get do an update on the car, which would be common. And here's uh, the up. These are the updated version gaskets. They got the Permatex built into them. These are better gaskets. Now, everybody's wondering why I say do not use that junk gasket. Well, let me get this bag open and I'll show you why. Better gasket design. This got the rubber. Uh, it's got a rubber seal, metal frame. See, Felpro builds good quality gaskets. Definitely you get their higher end gasket set. Now, you go with a gasket like that, the cheap cardboard gasket. Or would you go with a rubber impregnated metal gasket? Pick your choice. I would rather go with this than this. And then we have This is a rubber with with metal gasket. You guys can see the see that metal? And this is rubber. Rubber and metal. Very nice gaskets from Felpro. That this is a recall on GM and Fel, Felpro fixed the GM recall. So that's two of GM's screw-ups they did. Now this gasket here I'm just going to hang on to because I didn't take off the oil pump. But I will hang on to this, keep it in the toolbox in case it ever starts leaking. So there's a complete gasket set from Felpro. And I'll just show you the part number again. So that's everything there. Well, let me move you guys back. And this is the radiator. This is a Denzel. Denzel, same thing as AC Dalco. Surprised it made through transit. Yeah, a little beat up. I don't see nothing wrong with it. Well, it feels pretty good. Well, 
don't see any problems. And they just give you some instructions how to remove the radiator in case you guys don't know how to do it. But yeah, that's everything. Now a lot of you guys are probably wondering why I put it, I'm putting a radiator in the car. Well, the car has always had a bad radiator from GM, and that's why I did it. So. You guys give me a minute and I shall get you the information you need to know about that gasket set. Alright, that gasket set that I bought is called Problem Solver Gasket Set from Felpro. That is what that gasket's called, gas set's called. So when you guys look for, for gasket sets from Felpro, When you look for these gas cassettes, uh, look for a felt pro, then look for fine print uh, problem solving set. Um, let me, give me a second. Alright guys, I can't find the gas cassette uh, for the, because the van, I know what the gas set is. There's two part numbers here. Okay, they're both felt pro. But see how that says premium dry? And if you go down to here, it says Premium Drive Plus. The plus is their uh, problem solving gasket set. Because you go here, click on this picture. See how these, these are updated gasket set for the van. Okay. Now, this is not an updated gasket set. This is the old style that GM used to run. That is nothing but problems. So, that just gives you a tip. So give me a second, let me see if I pull up the van. Alright guys, I got the Grand Prix pulled up. Ultra power is normally, you can get uh, gasket sets. Here's AC Delco. See, there's their gasket. It's not as, as this is, um, I think it's a steel gasket with Primatex across it. Alright. Let's go up to Felt Pro. This is a rubber mem membrane with metal in it. And the newer gasket for the water pump. Okay. A. That's everybody says they buy this. Okay, here's another example of a poor quality gasket. It's just like GM's, permatext. but it has the updated water pump gasket. Okay, ultra power is normally you go up town and get. Look at how cheap that gasket set is. So, that just gives you a little uh, heads up. Um, let's go cylinder head gasket set. Um, again, felt pro. Uh, it says right there. Premium Dry Plus. Plus means problem solving gasket. And again, it's an updated gasket set for the lower intake. See the rubber with the metal? That one's updated too. It looks like, uh, looks like metal with rubber. But I have not done the lower intake, upper intake yet. And that looks like the newer gas head gasket set too. Okay, let's go to Ultra Power. See, you get that uptown. Okay. They have the plastic gasket, the updated uh, intake gasket, and the older style head gasket. Uh, let's go to engine gasket set and you only got two options. Well, actually one. And this one's running the plastic 
uh, lower intake, ga upper intake gasket, the older head gaskets, the older design of the lower intake. I'm not too sure what gasket that's for. And that's running GM style gasket. So that just gives you a, a heads up when you buy ordering in parts. Make sure you get the right gaskets. Just don't buy the cheapest gasket set you find for the for this car. So say if you need a time cover gasket, don't buy a gasket for six fifty nine or six fifty five. That's what that is. Six dollars and fifty five cents. Don't buy that gasket, please. All you're doing is asking for trouble. Go pay the thirty five bucks. It's what I did. I paid thirty five bucks and got a better gasket set. Or actually that's the wrong gasket. Thirty dollars and got that gasket here. And don't fall for people who thinks this is the best gasket. Because where it's going to fail, it's trying to seal right around the port. Partially around the port. And that's where it's going to blow open at. See? It's only, it's missing like, it's got about 90% of seal and nothing else. Don't fall for that cheap gasket. Alright, now I guess I'll catch you guys on the car. See ya. All right, guys. Uh, here's what I was talking about by the water pump. Some moron decided to put some type of sealant in the hole. It happened at a, at a garage. When I bought this car, this water pump was leaking, and they never replaced it. So what they did, they filled the holes to keep it from leaking. Because they told the dealer to the water pump's leaking needs to be fixed before I can take off with it. So, yeah. So the first do, I'm going to clean up this block using these Scott Bright. I like these. Um, you three that says medium, and then I got fine. It's not going to hurt the block none.
a lot of guys wondering why I'm having, I have to do that. You see that gasket? See that? This is a GM junk gasket. It's got that uh, flat, that rubber gasket with the silicone on it. So I'm gonna be here for some time. Hey guys, what's happening? Now there, to get these off, there's a bolt there, there, and these two. I'm both. I already got them loose. You guys see? That's why I'm replacing these. This one ain't as bad. But yeah, these are the bolts. And one dropped down below, so I gotta fetch that one. And that's how you get them out.